two other things happening at the green belt stage. I've heard it called the green belt band shell too, but oh, again, yeah. it's right there off the parking lot, off Memorial by the roundabout, by the temple, the river concert series begins next Tuesday, June 11th and runs every Tuesday evening at seven. Oh, nice. So if you're looking for a little walk around the green belt, I want to sit and chill. I've seen people bring their own chairs mm -hmm. and coolers to this thing. You can do that. That's super nice. Yeah, every Tuesday till August 27th. Okay. So it starts next Tuesday, June 11th with McKinley Silson, which is, get this, Electric Campfire Blues. Ooh. That sounds cool. That actually does sound really cool. Okay, but are they going to be singing like weird campfire songs like that one from Bob Bob's Burgers? Uh, who's that? Knocking on my hole. <laughs> <laughs> or the one in Three Amigos, Blue Shadows on the Trail. There we go, yeah. Uh, June 18th, the Opscometrists. Oh, I've seen them. It's like optometrists, only opsca. So apparently they have really good vision <laughs> and they do ska. Remember so, ska? I do. I, right. was, I was really into it in high school back when I first saw the Opscometrists. Okay. They got me into it for a second. Mm -hmm. No doubt started out a little ska. <laughs> right, right. My favorite ska band of all time is Real Big Fish. Oh, uh, okay. They've got an album with Jed the Fish from KROQ, world famous oh, KROQ funny. in Los Angeles, on the uh -huh. cover. And their song, Nothing, huh. is great. That's cool. Probably comes with an explicit warning, just saying. <laughs> you know what? I bet I have an Opscometrist CD at my house right now. If oh, I yeah? was like, if I was guessing, I still remember a bunch of their songs. I bet I could sing along to a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we might have to go for that. We might or, have to. That'd be fun. I really want to be there June 25th for the Jazz House Big Band. <gasps> They, they did I'm the music. I'm so there for that. I yeah. love that stuff. We closed out a show a few episodes ago mm -hmm. when they did the Chamber of Commerce <gasps> event. Oh, they were so good there. They yeah. were really good. They were the bomb. Like, mm -hmm. really good. I'm so down to go see them. That sounds awesome. And then Saturday, June 29th, it's mm -hmm. Scoop Jam. Ooh, I love Scoop Jam. That's always a good time. I've never been to one. So I went to like... Half of one once, but I was performing, so I didn't get to enjoy it. It sucked okay. a little for that. But here's the thing. I love ice cream. Let me see if I can sell you on this concept in six words or less. All you can eat ice cream. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound amazing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, tickets are $8 in advance. Link and post. That's what like a normal cone would cost you most places. Yeah. You know? So like, if you're going to spend the eight bucks... Get your eight bucks worth. And get your tickets in advance because they're $10 at the gate. Mm -hmm. The proceeds benefit our very good friends at the Idaho Falls Rescue Mission and the Domestic Violence and SA Center. Is that what we have to say for the YouTube gods to smile on us? Almost definitely. Yep. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> it's a great charity, too. They say something interesting at the end. They said kids three and under are free if they're accompanied by an adult. I would hope so. Well, I guess I'm just wondering how a three-year-old would get there on its own. Okay, here's the thing, though. <laughs> this isn't Rugrats. It's not Stewie from Family Guy. <laughs> You're not wrong. And I could definitely see... Uh, okay, I've worked in, in customer service What does it matter to them? Before. No, hear me out. I've worked in customer service before. If a three-year-old can drive <laughs> there, park, and walk up to the thing, I that's, think he deserves a free cone. That's the horrible thing, though. <laughs> It wouldn't take that. Uh -huh. I worked in customer service long enough that I know for a fact that there are adults who would take their three-year-old to that, drop them off, and leave. I I hope that's not true ever. I know for a fact it is. Oh I've seen God. I've seen crap like that happen so much, dude. Like they just sort of expect the cashier or whoever is working or whoever's there to just be like a free babysitter, you know? Right. That's yeah. sad. I think up until age three, it ought to be, you can be as many feet away from me as number of years old you are. Man, I would take that even further. I would say up to age like 15, <laughs> you know, because realistically, have you seen some 15 year olds going out in public? Like they don't know how to act still. Oh, yeah. You know, like I should be able to, you should be in my field of vision. You know, I actually think feet by age you is a perfect metric. <laughs> generation alphas in your skibbity toilets. <sighs> In your Fortnite video <laughs> games. <laughs>